In this lesson, we will be looking at an example of a power function. Let's first look at a table of data that we might be able to model with a power function. This table gives the standard clinical height of a boy in the 50th percentile from birth to roughly 36 months in age. So at two and a half months of age, a boy at the 50th percentile should be 23.5 inches tall. After six and a half months, a boy in the 50th percentile should be 26.7 inches tall. After 12 and a half months, it should be 30 inches. After 18 and a half months, it's 32.4 inches. After 24 and a half months, the boy should be 34.5 inches. After 30 and a half months, a boy would expect to be about 36.2 inches. And roughly after 35 and a half months, a boy in the 50th percentile would be about 37.6 inches tall. So what we want to be able to do is find a power model that gives the height as a function of the age. And we can do this using our calculator. So the first thing we need to do is go into the stat menu and we'll go into the edit mode and we need to type into the list 1 and the list 2 columns the data. I've already entered all the data in so I can go ahead and exit or quit out of the stat menu. I have to go back into the stat menu but this time I want to go to the calc menu and we want to look for the power regression which if you look in the list it's uh, capital A. So select that and that will put us on the home page and we can press enter to compute the power regression. And so we get that the height as a function of the age will be equal to 19.50 five six times a and if you look at it it's in the, on the calculator it's x raised to the b power so this capital a will be raised to the zero point one seven eight three power and i just rounded my decimals to four decimal places so now that we have our our function our model let's see how we can use it so first, if we're given an input value, can we find the corresponding output value? So for example, say we wanted to compute uh, the 50th percentile height of a boy who's 20 months old. Well, this 20 months is the A value. So A equals 20 months. And we want the height, which means we want to compute the height at 20 months. So H of 20 which again just means we're putting 20 in for the A. So we'll have 19.5056 times 20 to the 0 0.1783 power. And this is again just something that we can compute on our calculator. And we get 33.28 inches. Now, if we're given an output, can we find the corresponding input? So again, for example, suppose we want to compute the age of a boy in the 50th percentile who is 40 inches tall. Well, in this case, the 40 inches is the height. So that means we're going to put 40 in for the H of A on the left side of our equation. So we'll have 40 equals... 19.5056 times a to the 0 0.1783 power. So to solve for a, the first thing we need to do is divide both sides by 19.5056. And I'll wait to do that till the end. Uh, so on the left side we have 40 divided by 19.5056 whatever that's going to be. And that's equal to A to the 0 0.1783 power. 
Now, in order to get rid of this exponent, we can raise it to the reciprocal power, which would be 1 over 0 0.1783 power. Now, again, whatever you do to the right side of the equation, you also have to do the other side. So we're going to have to raise to the left side 1 over 0 0.1783 power. On the right side, the two powers will cancel out, leaving us with just the a value. And on the left side, we just need to compute what this is going to be. And again, we can do that on our calculator. Now, when you type in this expression and you do the, uh, the fraction exponent, that has to be in parentheses. So make sure you type that in parentheses on your calculator. And if we compute this, we get uh, 56.14 and this is in months. So what is the concavity of this function and what does it represent? To look at the concavity of this function we need to graph it. So enter the formula into your calculator. We also need to set up the window and we know this was roughly from birth to 36 months And once you type in the 0 and 36 for x min and x max, uh, we can just do zoom. And we can do zoom fit, which is option 0. So if we look at the graph of this function, it is going up, but it looks like it's slowing down. Uh, the function kind of has a, a downwards curve to it. So again, this would be concave down. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, so again, the concavity, we would say, is concave down. And that means that a boy's height, and this is an infant boy's height, is increasing at a decreasing rate from birth to 36 months. And lastly, can we compute the instantaneous rate of change of our function at some point? In this case, when a equals 20. And can we also interpret what that would mean? So this is something that we would do again on our calculator. And a equals 20, that's our x value. To get the instantaneous rate of change, there's several different ways we can do it. But on our calculator, we can go into the Draw menu, which is second, and the Program button. And we're actually going to have it draw the tangent line, which is option number 5. And then we need to specify where we want it to draw. So in this case, when x was 20, so just type in the number 20 and press enter. And you can see it'll draw this line in that's tangent to the function at x equals 20. And what we're looking for is the slope of the tangent line, which in this case, our slope is 0 0.297. So that's the instantaneous rate of change at a equals 20. It means that a boy's height is increasing by 0 0.297 inches per month when he is 20 months old.